Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, teaching the Western Mysteries. This video is part of our free online course on Kabbalah and Western Mysteries. Please find the link in the description below this video. In the early Kabbalistic teachings, Dart was not considered a Sephirah. Also, there is no number assigned to Dart. As the Sefer Yetzirah says, ten Sephirot blimah, ten and not nine, ten and not eleven. In the course of the development of the Kabbalistic teachings, Dart was sometimes regarded as one of the Sephirot. Dart is an important principle on the Tree of Life and is sometimes referred to as the Invisible Sephirah. Dart means Gnosis, because Dart is the transformation point, in which the vibrational frequencies of the higher principles are transformed so that they can be recognized by human consciousness. We distinguish a higher and a lower aspect of Dart. Dart Elion, the higher aspect of Dart, is considered the external reflection of Keta, and connects the male that is Chachma with the female Bina. As it is said in the Sefer Bereshit, and Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived. Adam and Eve are symbols of the original male and female principles. Gnosis is a synonym for sexual, mental, and spiritual union. Dart Takton, the lower aspect of Dart, refers to the abyss, a separation between the higher and lower planes. The abyss is a symbol of the separation from the spiritual levels that we humans cannot directly reach, from the lower levels into which we are incarnated. The abyss separates the upper three sephirot, Keta, Chokhmah and Bina, the pure spiritual principle, from the seven lower sephirot, Chesed, Gevurah, Tiferet, Netzach, Hot, Yesod, and Malchut. At the same time, Dart Tachton also stands for the connection between the higher and the lower planes, and it represents the bridge over the abyss. Dart is like the focal point of a lens in which the higher principles transform, so that they can be recognized and grasped by human consciousness. This principle becomes apparent in the symbol of Dart, the prism. Through the prism, the light is refracted and visible in the form of the seven spectral colors. Those correspond to the seven lower sephirot. The prism is considered the cornerstone of the world as described in the Zohar that when the Holy One, blessed be He, was about to create the world, He detached one precious stone from underneath His throne of glory and plunged it into the abyss, out of which the world started, spreading itself to right and left and into all directions, and by which it is sustained. That nucleus, that stone, is called Evan Shetihah, foundation, as it was the starting point of the world. The following assignments have proven useful for the practical work of the students of the mysteries. We use yod He vav He Elohim as the divine name. Both yod He vav He and Elohim combine the polarity of male and female as this is a function of Dart. In yod he vav he Yod and Vav are considered male, and the two He 
are considered female. Elohim can be seen as a female word form with a male plural. The archangel of darts is Uriel. The meaning is light of God or fire of God. The angels of darts are the Irin, guardians, who are also called Grigori. They observe mankind and watch over them. They are also seen as teachers of mankind who taught scripture, science and wisdom. In Kabbalistic astrology, we assign the planet Uranus to Dart. Uranus shows how and in what area a person takes the impulse for further development and strives for change. Uranus is sometimes called the Great Transformer. Remember an important function of Dart on the Tree of Life. Hebrew Etz Chaim is transformation. The allegorical representation of Dart, which symbolizes its importance as a transformation point, as a bridge over the abyss, and as a connecting point of opposites, is the face looking in two directions. This idea of having two faces can be found, for example, in the form of the god Janus in Roman mythology. Janus was the god of the gates, the entrance and exit, as well as new beginnings. In the human body, the larynx is assigned to Dart. Dart is considered to be the upper reflection of Yesod, the generative center, and corresponds to the tongue according to the Sefer Yetzirah. Language is another example of the function of Dart. The speaking apparatus allows us to transform thoughts into a perceptible form. When our soul is pure, our intention is directed towards higher goals and our abilities to perceive and understand the inner and higher levels are objectively advanced. The higher planes may reveal themselves in meditation to our consciousness. When we write our meditation records, we bring these insights about spiritual concepts into an intelligible verbal form of expression. The colour of dart is silver-grey, like the reflections of a mirror surface. Also lavender is sometimes used as a colour, since lavender represents the gentle, not easy to grasp character of dart. Traditionally, dart was viewed as transparent. The virtues of dart are equanimity, virtuousness, confidence in the future, independence from the influences of the mortal personality and the spiritual pursuit of death. Striving for death does not mean the dying of the body, but the transformation of the mortal personality. As Goethe once wrote, Tell it none except the wise, for the common crowd defames. Of the living I shall praise that which longs for death in flames. And until you have possessed dying and rebirth, you are but a sullen guest on the gloomy earth. The vices of dart are unfeelingness, apathy, isolation, inhumanity, hopelessness, uncontrolled impulsivity and chaos. The spiritual experience of Dart is the crossing of the abyss. Thank you for watching. Join us for more videos on the Tree of Life. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.